Sorry about that. Um, I had to restart my stream, so I'm gonna re have to redo my intro. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Life is Strange. Um, I decided to uh, acquire the rest of the episodes, because why not? Um, I think I figured out why I was stuttering last time. Um, it was because it was on the highest quality settings. I went back and rewatched it, and it was stuttering quite a bit. Until I uh, decrease the uh, settings, like the resolution. So hopefully this time around it doesn't stutter as much. Um, I'm not good with intro, so let's just get right back into it. I have to... Uh... Mm. I don't know if it's going to recap it again. It's not. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna have to, uh. Yes. In the previous episode, there we go. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! I wanted to, uh, include this recap. What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I'm hoping it continues my progress, but oh well. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait. Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I don't I like David. Out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Yeah, I'm hoping it remembers my progress. If it doesn't, whoopsie doopsie. Oh well. Um, I decided uh, I had to restart my stream because I need to also record it because I want to include the the endings because last time the uh the ending cutscene got muted on Twitch, so I'm recording it now just so I can include the music so it doesn't just be awkward silence. So I apologize um, about that. There we go. I'm just hoping it remembers my progress from chapter one. I said I, I wanted to do this all in one sitting. Well, at least chapter two anyways. It took me about three hours to get through chapter one. But that's just because I was being thorough. Something good. Oh, something good. Oh, something good. Oh, something good tonight. Make me forget about you. Episode two, out of time. Well, this is uncomfortable for me. No, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit. Okay, fine, I'll get up. I was really hoping decreasing it would stop the stuttering, but apparently not. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall.
Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. Smile, 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 smile. No emoji, frowny face. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late. Or oh, no, time is not on your side. After all, you did let step dork bust me. On my way. You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry, Mom. I can make my bed whenever I want. Booyah. I so now. A rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a choice. So I'm probably going to have to water it every other day so I don't kill it by drowning it. Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. Stop the copyrighted music. It wouldn't be surprise surprising if get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. It wouldn't be surprising if it got uh muted. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Mystic enchantment cards, 159 cards. What an odd number of cards. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton. Oh yeah, the same greatest. thing. That's the only tourist picture okay, I can take I, with me. Okay, I think this is all the same thing. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. What if I'm one of Honky, Hawking's fabled time tourists? Even though he once made fun of time travel, now he believes it's possibility. Or he's still effing with us. He's a genius imp. Time is like a river, Einstein. B.S. I'm drowning in time. My head hurts after the longer we wind and thinking about this now. Take a giant step backwards for mankind. Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hello, time kitty. Quantum entanglement. Energy disperses as, as particles reach equal distribution. That This means that time has a fragile foundation. Nothing is written, nothing is written in stone. The law of thermodynamics can obviously be broken, so no, no rules or only guidelines. Burn your clock. Time is like an arrow, Newton. Or is time like two arrows at the same velocity, hitting two targets independent of each other, leading to two different results? What the hell am I writing? We wind only limited by time itself. Right now, I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Irony or evolution? Maybe I have to, maybe I have to do time exercises. How? I don't know, Max. You tell me. No Take snap. a selfie. Take your power seriously. Well, that's weird. Well, that's not even gonna give me a collectible. Boo. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. This is so insane. I don't it need to read logical that. to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Yeah, I don't really want to read all that. Because I want to get this out of the way. Okay, I'm not going to water morning, it. Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. I'm not going to water it today. Because that text message says, don't drown it. So I... Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. I have to assume that watering it too much will kill it. So I'm assuming there's only five days in this game. Um, per, like one day per episode. So, like, I'm gonna try to water it every other day. Just because some ass pranked a girl's shampoo bottle and her hair fell out, we have to safeguard our toiletries. So, summer camp. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. 
Okay. Well, you don't want to... I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. You're not going to, like, grab any, like, clothes or anything? Okay. Okay, I don't need to read that right now. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Okay. Fine, I won't disturb you. No brook here. Hmm. I'm assuming I can knock on all these doors. I might as well try all of them. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. I can't talk with you? Okay. One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. Oh, can I? Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Is that gonna have consequences? That's gonna have consequences. Okay. There will be consequences! <laughs> What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, Everybody yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So... Are you coming to the party or not? Why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Let's talk later, Max. Okay. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Okay, I'm not going to check the laptop because I don't think I need to. Yeah, last time there was a pregnancy test. I didn't even realize there was a pregnancy test around here. Why am I knocking on the door? Max, She's right there. Juliet is next to me in the hall, not her room. Yeah, duh. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. See the snow? Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? What? Why? Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Zachary? Did you let him off the hook? When he acts like a worm, I let him dangle. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. 
And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's go, uh, shower. Is this going to be really uncomfortable? Hi, Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Okie dokie. Am I going to have to, like, transition from screen to screen? Hopefully not. This makes me really uncomfortable. Uh oh. Got a bad feeling about this. What's up, Kate? School. That's School. it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know <laughs> Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Was she drugged up? Yup. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, that was an I won't rely on you or pause. Gordon for help. You can hang out with Kate or Max. Wow. What a bitch. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, so quirky. let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. Hey, I'm the only one that says biatch here. <laughs> Did you really make an entire website just for that one video? Well, you don't even use a towel or anything? You just put your clothes back on? I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Otter power? I'm so not there. Otter swim team trials. Otter power, can you swim to success? Join one of the top high school swim teams in the nation. Yeah, I think I've read that before. Okay, I don't need to do that. Yeah. Sorry. I forgot. It's like you just took a shower. I didn't realize that. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. It's gonna have consequences because, of course, Rachel is still a whore, apparently. Okay, let's go grab the book. Want to get dressed at all? Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Okie dokie. 
But the book should be right here, right? Of course he just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. The real question is, why did you have a glass of, what, soda right there? Like a... Be gone, like a moron. soft drink. Well, you could have just moved it, like, across the room, but okay. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. I need to get dressed before I go there. I had a feeling, but okay. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. Are you wearing and the exact same outfit? No. Okay, good. At least the devs aren't that lazy. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. That's just But it could be weird. anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. I'm not watching the video, Max. Okay. I just thought you would say something different because you were now... Um, in the other room. I walked right hey, past the room. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. We call us. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our, con our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Mm. Terrible stuff. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. I feel like Kate is going to do something. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. That's like, I'm going to have to make a choice. Immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. You just said you had like a zombie face, so I'm not really surprised. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? I can't look at Kate's myself. It's perfect for a children's book. Because I'm a vampire. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Hmm. Kate really has a doting father. And the light sh shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1 5. Katie, you'll always be. My brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, Pop. Aww. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Aww, rabbit. Well, that rabbit is trembling. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Like, my sister always was, like, so fixated on trying to get a pet rabbit. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. It's like, is it really that bad? Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Hmm. 
Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Uh, let's talk with her. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Did you party with them? Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Doesn't sound like you. Doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Mm, are you sure? Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Oh no. And... And... Are you sure? Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up. Why? No, I'm just... Being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Damn, CA. I know CA. it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Poor Kate. It's like, I feel very, 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 very bad. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't give me this choice. Uh, well, if I look for proof, there might not be much to find. If I go to the police, I don't think they'll help her very much. I think... I think the best option... Like, personally, it would be look for proof. Because if I go to the police, I feel like that's just going to make her feel worse if they don't find anything. So, uh, why does this have to be a choice? 
if sticking you do with my that, gut. They won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that oh, might no. help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Can I go back? Good I want to go back. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Hold down right trigger to go faster. It's not going very much faster, I can tell you that much. I don't know why this is taking so long. Really? Oh, okay. So Max, can I ask you a question? I want to see both honest. outcomes. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that. I want to see both outcomes. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Oh no. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you and everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. What is she going to say about this choice? Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. I have to. Like, I have to. I don't know why it's telling me to hold down the button when I'm holding down the button. And it's not going any faster. It's like, it says right trigger, but I hold the left trigger and it doesn't do anything. I'm sticking with my choice. If you do that... Look, I'm sorry, Kate, but I honestly don't think going to the police is a good option. So, I apologize. Like, I'm- like, I feel like Kate's gonna do something that she'll probably regret. Max, food, two whales, see you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay breakfast. No emoji. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I'm sorry Kate, but I feel like that's the best option. There's nothing I can do about it. That is a lot of birds flying around there. There's Samuel. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Bird whisper. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. I I don't like Samuel. Oh, 
Okay. He gives me like and I can bad vibes. Waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? So a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. Expecto well, Patronum. My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Of course you will. Well, this door is still open. Can I go in here? Is there anything in here worth checking out? I definitely won't play with this thing again. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Good question. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Okay, so that gives me a... Uh, Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. That gives me a, to sneak into. a dialogue option. But I feel like if I talk to him about it, he's going to get mad at me. Great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. Some people care. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. Ha <laughs> ha, time. I don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay. It is a, um, it is a weird thing to have, though. Like, the poster, not so much. Okay, what? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. A final, but the first. Dad, it's over here. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. You! Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. Yep. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Sure. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. 
ไว้วไว้อืมอ่าอืมอ่าขอบคุณโอ้ยโอ้ยคุณเป็นจริงแม้แต่คุณลืมขอบคุณค่าบอสเดมเรียบ No. No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go eat myself. Hmm. I was confident in my choice. I just want. I want to see both options before I do anything. Fred, you're even. An old. Tab. I. You're fuck. Yeah. Say bye, Warren. Wait, do you have anything else to say? I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. Oh. The reason why I'm doing this is because apparently he he was going with Brooke before. Max, check it out. Warren, what? Wow. I apologize that this is right, taking wait. a while to get through this one oh. choice, but You're... even though you left, and I feel like I but I feel I like. I feel like uh, if I don't go with him, then I'll be able to do something else with like either like Chloe or Kate or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. I don't think it has anything to do with Rachel, but okay then. Well, how convenient that the bus stops right as Max gets there. Yeah, I'm... Like, that's the one thing that I'm probably gonna change. I wanna be surprised if the the VOD gets muted. I wish video games didn't use copyrighted music. Or any, if, even if they did, it would be lenient for like streaming. I know that uh, I was looking into seeing uh, like what the deal with copyrighted music in these games were and apparently in a later game in the series there's a streamer mode, but it makes the game extremely awkward, which is why I'm recording it as well. Because at least YouTube is a bit more lenient when it comes to the copyright. You probably won't even hear this based on the copyright issues. There's the lighthouse in the background. Very, uh... It seemed very focused on it. It is a very like, like good like setting. Don't try to take it. Mark. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi, buddy. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. 
Got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Okie dokie. Um, okay, that's the dino over there. Can I go this way or is it blocked off? Running late, grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. I don't want to go that way. Okay, I had a feeling that I was going to say, say that. Um, okay, let's go this way. Because I missed a bunch of stuff. I missed something with that RV or an RV. Not, not specifically this one, but hey, that's the dog from the ending cutscene. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Yeah. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. Am I going to have to... something creepy about that guy and his dog. Okay, I can't get back around. Okay. Hi, Mr. Fisherman. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay. End the man-made man drought in the bay. You live next, next to the ocean. How is there a drought? Well, I guess that makes sense. Because it's inland. Okay. But still, what the heck? You're a fisherman. There shouldn't be a drought. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. How's the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Prescotts? The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. You know them? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Okie dokie. Good talk, buddy. I don't think I can nope, cross the I street. I don't want to go there. Yeah, I didn't think so. I probably can't go this way because she's going to say, Oh, I don't want to go this way. I wonder if they explained that snow. I wonder if they explained snow. the snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. Weather surface. Weather service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon this week. Cool. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse it's all me. digital. Sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Snow was odd. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep Not at this time of year. Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? 
Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. Horoscope. Oh, homeless dude back here. Or a homeless girl, okay. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes? What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I mm. bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. Hmm. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Come talk to me any old time you want. Well, I wanted to talk about Chloe, but okay. Fire truck. I was in game, right? Uh, not like imagining anything. Yeah, I don't think I can go that way. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go inside. I want to go to a diner one of these days. Go to like a Denny's or something. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. Welcome to Pan Estates. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Affordable luxury homes, forest, ocean, and lighthouse views. Coming soon to change the way you live. Hmm. Now that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. 25th Annual Happy Halloween Bazaar. Mayor Cochran Leads the Kitty Costume Parade, Saturday, October 27th, blah, blah, blah. Great pumpkin carving contest, local vendors and food trucks, tricks and treats. Oh, and happy Halloween. Cool beans. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Okay, sorry. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna oh. be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? You seem way too, like, excited and enthusiastic. I don't like you. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Since you were 13. serious cojones. Join the Costos all day sea adventure. Now charter the legendary seamen from your own ocean voyage. Jack Cousteau in his undersea worlds. You've seen him on TV, read, him ab read about him in the news. A local captain, fisherman, and marine expert with 30 years experience will take your group on a three hour tour of Arcadia Bay's lush and exotic aquatic kingdom. 
Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, he will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Okay, cool. Why does that so not sound fun? Okay, I don't really need to read these. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Bigfoot, Expedition, Cool Beans. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Blackwell Academy, Cool Beans. That graffiti has been here forever. Plus before doing it. Kate Marsh, love you long time. Love you long time. Gross. Rachel A owes me a blowjob. So does your mom. Oh, that's nice you're thinking about my mom. Fire walk with me. You're gonna say, what does that say? Thank you, redneck poet. Sucks deck. Nice. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. I'm getting hungry just being You'd here. You never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay, sorry. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. That's not good. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. Sam. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He has a reputation. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Oh yeah. Let's talk with you, buddy. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Nice. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is in eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you here? You're rude. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? Do you mind? Okay, sorry. Drool. Want everything. Hmm. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. 
Fishing Awards, White Sturgeon, Steelhead, Steelhead Trout, Chinook, Salmon. Cool beans. I feel like changing it would probably Whoa, not work. Pink Easy with Joyce? That's so perfect. To Joyce, Best Burgers and Gentle Vibe in Oregon. Further, K. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Is no one gonna object to it? It's funny. Our family never went well watching. It looks fun. Um. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, what? Oh, there was two other people I could've talked to. Oh, well. Nothing I can do about it now. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm mm. glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Um... Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? David hit her. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. And he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. She's about Kate Marsh. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? If I had to choose Belgian waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I can't have coffee. Curse my ADHD. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Hmm. Wow, that all that looks all good. Oh, I'm hungry. 
Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. No this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Incoming. Oh, I didn't get to look at the window. I didn't realize that I could hear your stomach on. rumbling from look here, the Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Wow. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Wow. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is so this shit on the jukebox? What is that supposed to mean? I like that song. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, skull? A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Oh, she had a bullet necklace. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Wait, can I not? Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, panda keychain. Cigarettes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, eleven... Plus 75 would be 86 cents. Warning ticket out of parking. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Whoa. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. A uh, parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But... What is the exact time I was out busted? of parking? Oh, uh, 1034 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Oh, How I didn't. Cigarettes? Um. Thirteen cigarettes. I smoke too much to have thirteen cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's act. God dang it. 
Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget Seven. Anything. Okay. Well, this... Okay, Max. Your car... Duh! A cute... Not... You do have... There I'm pretty go. sure... Yes, you know I'm... Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? A parking ticket. You know me well. 1034. Ten. Booyah! Even a broken... 86 cents. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. Balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm hungry too. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. The Bridget Cub cop gets abandoned. Person complains. Person goes to the bathroom. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones. Jukebox life. breaks. So, what are you waiting for? Okay, how do I predict the future? Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. No. I'm confused. What? I'm so confused. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Um, hello? Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I have no I'm idea what I'm supposed to do here. Because... I saw everything I needed to do. Jukebox breaks, blah blah blah. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I'm going are to you serious? Four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. 
Um, the trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. I don't think beats them is the right... The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I don't think those are the right options, but I might as well try it. Oops. Dude, Did you, you really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a oh, dick. That's so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whipping this. Uh, Fucking A. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for deep. I don't think locker. the whiffing thing was so right. What are you waiting for? Really? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. I'm going to predict... Chuck could drop his mug. So, what happened? Partner leaves. Well, let's just... Stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and how was they supposed to him. know that's what the thing was? I thought good. it was. Can't wait to see what happens. I thought it was from a different one. God dang it! The juke. Pretty bizarre. Okay, there we go. There we go. Much better. Took way too long. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Da 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 da. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. She can only go back Maybe so you far. Move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. All right, bye guys. Bye, everyone. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead. Chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. I'm answering. Sorry, Chloe. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, 
Go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. I don't know why that would have consequences, but okay. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Big whoop. What is this guy looking at? times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody, everybody armed and oh, stuttering? Gun? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. It only took I'm an hour twenty for it to stutter yet. once. Okay. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. I just realized. Give me, give me one second. I just realized. I had a feeling. I don't know why it got changed, but okay. Stop it. Stop it, game. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. I honestly don't know why the uh, the quality changed again. Like I was like boasting at the beginning, I was like, "Oh, I think I I think I found out why it was stuttering so much." And then it got changed again. It like reverted back to like the highest mode, which is stupid. Shouldn't have done that. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. I'm so now hungry. the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. I'm thinking about ordering food after this stream. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, where, if I was a bottle, where would I be? I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God or the gods? So bow. We can make the world. Oh, bow. hail the hypno toad. Yeah. Oh yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works, a god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness and fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Hmm. Let's see what else you can do. I don't know. Maybe uh, conjure up a tornado that destroys the town. Those I don't know. Those look fresh. But yeah, Chloe has a freaking gun on her. It wouldn't surprise me if they were fresh. Okay, where are these bottles at? Football. The Bigfoots were here. You mean the goat men? Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Hmm. Wait, can I? Oh, I can. I was gonna say, can I move this? Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Well, there's a bottle. Didn't even realize. Bottle gag. Bottle number one. One more to go. 
Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Last time, uh... Um... chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Back in time, 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 time. Um, last time, uh, at the end of last episode, um, the teaser was Chloe being stuck on the tracks, um, in a train, like, running her over. So, this is probably where that's gonna happen, and I'm gonna have to rewind time. Okay. I don't think there was anything else up here right now. No. Okay, so let's go back downwards. Try to find the rest of these bottles. Okay. I should be like hugging the wall, but oh well. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. I I was on one of these boats once. I like I actually like drove uh, one of those boats, like a motorboat, um, when I was like seven years old. I don't Beyond remember. Repair. Rest in peace. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. There's another bottle. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, Bottle Hunter. Boom. Only three bottles left. I'd go to that movie. That movie sounds great. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Oh, Warren. Um. No worries about not going ape with me. Thought it would, I thought it would be cool to take a road trip in the new wheels. I'll just drive in circles around town. I'm sorry, Warren. Hard week. I so owe you. Yes, you do. Let me know if you change your mind. I don't know if that's like a winky face. Oh, that there dough it is. is the perfect photo op. That is a spirit of a doe if I've ever seen one, though. That's like phasing in and out of existence. Yeah, there's nothing there. Like, uh, uh, like up in the upper right, there's nothing there. Interesting. Okay, I don't think there's anything over here. Let's go down here, see if there's anything. I'm trying to look at everything, or as much as I possibly can. This was an old school punk shirt. Okay, there was a stump that I walked past. so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. Someday I want to move out to like the open plains. Just so I can get away from all of the city life even if it was for just a little while because i i've lived in the city or like around a city for a long time for like most of my life and i feel like i just need to get away but yeah okay 
I don't think there's anything over there. I don't think anyways. Where are these bottles at? I don't know if there was anything else over here because I kind of just walked off. I don't think there is. Car wreck. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Is this supposed to be like a junkyard or is there just like just a bunch of stuff everywhere for like reasons? I don't want to go that way. I don't know. I'm just looking around, man. You don't have to tell me what to do. You're not my real mom. Okay, where are these other bottles? I feel like I've looked around like I don't want everywhere. To go that way. I'm just looking around, girl. Don't have to tell me like where to go. Okay, there's probably one in here. Yeah, there's one right there. That kind of hurts. Is that like a friendship bracelet? I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Hmm. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. My sister had a mixtape. Like, for like her like sixth birthday, I think. Maybe her fourth. I don't remember. It's been so long. Oh, there you are, little bottle. Trying to play hide and seek? Yes. I need to find two more, and I feel like Three I've down, looked. Two more to go. I feel like I've looked everywhere. I want to die. <sighs> Jeez, who wrote this? Me, because I'm dead inside. Ouch. F you. Yes, you. Okay, sorry. So Rachel did go to a vortex club party. Block party. Dated right before she disappeared. Chloe's Chloe was here. Rachel was here. Food, but I was here. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Is that gonna That's gonna have consequences. No, thank you. No, thank you. I feel like if I do that, then uh, she'll get mad at me. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just God? I don't know. You tell me, Max. You tell me. Okay, so... Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Where are these other bottles at? I feel like I've been everywhere. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Cause that, oh, there's one up here. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. <sighs> Stupid bottle. So I need to find like a step stool or something. Crate. There we go. There we go. One more bottle to go. One more, but I don't know where it is, and I feel like I've looked everywhere. Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. 
Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. Talk to you later. Poor Kate. Poor Caitlin. Poor Kate, Kate, Kate. Poor Kate, Kate, Kate. Okay, where is this last bottle at? I feel like I've looked everywhere. Like, there's nothing up there. I didn't look at this car rack. Every car has its own tale and history. Oh, uh, poor thing. They left uh, you here all alone. Like, I'm hoping um, I can get the, uh, like, Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil Village soon. Because the, uh, in Village, there's a new DLC coming out. And I will need to acquire those, like, before, like, November, like, some, t like, someday in November, I forget, it's like, late November. Like, 24th, 25th, 26th, I don't remember which one. Where is this last bottle at? Is it like on the outskirts? I don't think so. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Well, apparently there's a bonfire spot somewhere around here. I don't know where, but it's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay. Like, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Seems how she just commented on it. Is it, like, over there or something? I have no idea where this is. No. What? I'm so confused. I don't know where this is. I apologize this is taking so long, but I don't know where else it could be. There's a bonfire spot somewhere, but I don't know where. Like, this just, like, inflates the, uh, the video length, and I don't really much appreciate it. Say bye, birds. Oh, there it is. Spot where people party around here. There it I'm is. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Took me way too long. I walked right by it. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Is it gonna fall? No. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Captain Chloe. She's right over here. Thanks, Max. What are you gonna do? Gonna do, uh. Ah. Uh, you don't even know what's in that bottle. Could be pissed for all you know. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Oh, there's a train going by like every few minutes. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Up. Uh. 
God dang it. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Is that a threat? Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. A boom. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Listen to those fat bullet beats. Ba da bum ba da bum. Okay, apparently. Sorry, Mr. Barrel. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? Like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Explosion. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Um well now tire I'm aiming for the left tire. Adios, spinning wheel of death. I mean you smashed all of them. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Back to the store. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid. I feel like this... Fun. Let like... me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I feel like this is very I'd rather go chat up Chloe. unhealthy. I don't know what else there is to do here. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you... Gun. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. <gasps> if I if I shoot him, I'm going to get into trouble. 
If I don't shoot him, Chloe's gonna be mad at me. Ah! Choice. Like, if I shoot him, it's probably just gonna shoot him in the leg. I feel like this is gonna be a minority vote. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. Now go tell David that he stole your gun. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. I will we'll probably get it back. That's fine. Oh, here comes the... Wow, sir. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. Here comes the train sequence, probably. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. Wow. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too, I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. There were trains going by like every few minutes. Why are you just hanging out on the tracks? The pirate board and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Freaked out. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun. I don't like the, us. the language. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Bad boy? Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Be careful. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Um, why? Why? I bet she would hate me. You're not that different. She had has a great eye for images mm. and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. 
You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! How did you get stuck is my question. What's that noise? The train. Oh shit. Like if you get hit by a train, you kind of deserve it. Okay, how do I get in here? Come on back. Shit, I can't budget at all. Hold on. No, like, really? Are you kidding me? Why? No, like, but really, why? I thought I was, like, rid of this nonsense. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here, because I have the tools, but nothing I can do with it. Axe? Uh, okay, uh, what can I slice with this? I have like three different tools, but nothing to use them with. I'm so confused. Oh. Damn. Something is blocking the drum. Okay, stop talking. What is blocking the drum? I have no idea what you mean by blocking the drum. I don't know. This looks way too heavy. And right over the switching lever. The train's coming! Max, please! Okay, stop. Max, get me out of here! I can't even move it an inch. Awesome, it's not locked. Which wire to cut? Oh, stupid light. Cool. It's like you take forever to do crap. But which wire to cut? Please get me out of here. Whoa, short circuit city. Really? This is taking way too long. Now that's the right cable. There we go. Jesus. Yes, I did it. That took way too long. Okay. Plus my you stream just again. disconnected for Crazy. no reason. Now we're totally bonded for life. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. 
My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Are you sure about that? Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <sighs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your- Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Well, you're ripping a hole in the space-time continuum. Which doesn't bode well. It's all gloom and doom here. Whether or not that's a bad thing, I don't know. Into the Vortex Club. This October? Yeah, this October. I have October. a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Do I really want to talk to the principal? So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Who are you? Justin always looks stoned. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. End of the world party. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Dr. Nathan? Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Hassel Kate? I saw Mr. Madsen Hassel Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, well, yeah. Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Let me guess, you're gonna stand right here. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling. Meeting with who? That's a good question I have. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Okay, look at the trophy. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. Oh, I already looked at that before. But otters are cute. Desperate much? We're already yeah, here. Yeah, I've already looked at most of these, most of these, so. Hello, climate change. Does anybody believe this shit? Hmm. Okay, can't talk with you. There's Samuel. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Why is it called the end of the world party? Hey, Courtney. Is it because it's the end Challenge. of the world? No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? 
Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, my... Really? Oh, like... Dress code? I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. It's gonna have... effects. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott Powers. Cool beans. Uh, Trevor. Trevor surveys his domain. Oh, of course David's if only here. I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about her? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Okay. Hey, Warren. Sit down, science, bruh. I'm in the science sci-fi lab. Now, I'm no Shro Schrodinger's kitty. See you soon. I still have time. I could go... Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. That reminds me... Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Zachary's over there. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Bully free. I can't read what that the rest of that says. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? You can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Hey, slow down. No? Okay. Um, well, that was the art class right there. Where is the sci-fi lab? These assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. There was a map somewhere, and I don't remember where. Oh, right here. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. So... Oh, it's across the, uh... Across the hallway. I think. Yeah, it's right here. I walked right by it. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Okay, I'm gonna talk to. Is this think, Brooke over here? Think. I'm gonna talk to her first, if I can. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily this rounds? This can't be that hard. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. 
Okay, okay. Bring me the brain, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Get the banana. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. This works. You get a free hug. It's probably not going to work. Weird science. Okay, that took a while to go backwards. Hey, well, Max, asking, have that. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. All right, bye. Wish I could check up on Kate, but eh. nothing I can do about it. Oh, there's a room open here. Oh, it's the science lab again. Okay. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Yep. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this mm. matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video. She's freaked Kate out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She mm. seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. Yeah. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Okay, yeah, I don't need Stella is smart. Don't need to watch like read that poster again. You are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show it's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kinda doing something now, Max. What are you doing is my question. Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. I hated it. Mm. 
love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Okay, bye. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. She's gonna get upset at that? No, okay. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. No time like to talk, Max. Art in progress. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson like he gives a shit. Like anybody. D better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Bully. You bullies. Big old bullies. Okay. Let me sit down. There goes Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Yeah, that is weird. I don't think I can get back up, so I just have to wait. Yeah, that is weird. Plus, how how did you look out the what window? Up, oh, hey, hi. Lauren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have you a later. lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, Hold on. smartphones in class. Ah, oh, god dang it! Put that okay. Away. Sorry. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. For example, who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. How about no? Dismissed. What's going down at the dorm? Is it Kate? It's probably Kate. Kate! No! Hold on. Nope. I, I have to do something now. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. I don't think I'm going to be able to save her, am I? Oh, time just freezes. Okay. Is she dabbing? 
Keep going, Max. You can do it. Oh, this is so bizarre. Get down my way, birds. David, it's going up. Yes. This time I'm gonna unfreeze just as I get up here. to do this by myself? Uh-oh. Seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Right oh, here. no. Don't do this to me. Please. No, Please. stop. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Hey, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Mac. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. Getting close. I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Aren't we all? Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like maybe video. Yep. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Um, everyone won't forget, um, well, everyone will forget eventually, but the internet never forgets. Um, I think be strong is probably a good option, but there are billions of videos in, like, on the internet where it's like, there's probably a lot worse like crap out there. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? Uh-oh. That was a bad choice. Anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Yay! You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Um. 
Her parents don't care. Your sisters? I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Oh, thank God. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, thank God. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Ah. Uh, it's a good thing I did all of that. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite the hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? No. Please, tell us everything. Um, I don't think there's any evidence of Nathan dosing her. Jefferson, I think she was already crying, so David bullied her. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say... Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. Oh, you Ms. dick. Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Why do I have to I sign a form? Me, but I think I can use my power again. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. 
We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand. And there are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. And maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign um, here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. I... Mm, like, I feel like that's a better option, but I think I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with my gut. Yeah, going with my gut. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Like, I'm kind of, like, hindering the relationship with... David, but that's fine. I hope Kate got some help. Because if she didn't, that's unfortunate. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one and a half times. Wow. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. The, I believe it's probably going to get muted, so if you don't hear this, I apologize. Like, I really hope that, like, masking the relationship with uh, David is not going to be like a problem Was he told off anyways? Boo There's a uh, Frank. This episode was so chaotic.
Aww. Yeah, Kate's in the hospital. It's like, yeah, I'm glad that I was able to save her life. Chloe's off by herself. Sorry about Kate, I hope you're okay. This eclipse this eclipse freaks me out. Let's go. Uh, let's go find out what's going on. Together. That's what that said. Credits. Rachel. What are you panning to? Kate. Mmm. Interesting. So they are connected somehow. Okay, that's episode two done. Man, what does it all mean? What is it leading up to other than the tornado? It's very interesting stuff. Um, the uh, whole situation with Max's power um, being like sporadic at this point. It's like sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. It's affecting her somehow. It does doesn't seem healthy. Especially when she's getting a bunch of like like migraines or like bloody noses or whatever. Some of those some of those like puzzles were kind of tricky because I just didn't know what I was doing or like where I was going. Like it took me way too long for some of them, like especially the the diner one as well as the train one. So I apologize if I'm a bit slow with these types of games. It's um I make things way harder than it needs to be. Well, that's a giant space, but okay. Okay, I can skip. 66% of people told Kate to wait for more proof. 82% answered the call. 48% tried to shoot Frank. I bet if I tried to shoot him, it would be empty. But that would have saved. That would have said a lot. 63% saved Kate's life. Well, if I blame Nathan, there wouldn't be really any problem with that. That's why I didn't go with it oh well 29% didn't water the plant I didn't water it for a reason 60% helped Alyssa 94% erased the link oh screw that 6% I didn't know I could be friendly with Taylor okay rejected Warren's invitation 24% you didn't write a message, 45%. Oh yeah, the uh, I was here thing. 68% didn't tamper with the rail tracks. Well, wow, that's a very close split. 49% gained entry. Still in the minority. Um, wait, didn't help him with what? I have no idea. 76% told on Mr. Jefferson. Okay. Please tell me the next chapter isn't going to be stealth. Please. Life is Strange, Episode 3, Chaos Theory. Coming soon. Oh, it's nighttime. Mm. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for Episode 2. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. 
It's getting interesting though, so I'm gonna go try to edit this. I had a hard time editing it, the editing the first episode because uh, for some reason my uh, editing program is draining my battery so much that by the time it gets even close to it, my battery is dead on my laptop. So I'm gonna try to figure out another workaround for that. But in the meantime, Thank you everyone for watching. I'm not going with